Boogie Woogie for Dummies Lesson 5 and excuse the state of the room, I know it's in a bit of a mess but we're actually planning to move back to London soon and so the place is a bit higgledy piggledy so uh, that's why we usually have the place quite tidy but there's stuff all over the place because we're just on, we're in Ireland at the moment and we're going to be moving back to old Blighty quite soon, hence the mess. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the right hand because I know many of you are interested in the right hand boogie riffs and I want to talk about the power of octaves of the top note in octaves holding it on and I know that sounds a little bit strange but camera if you come round uh, this is what I mean now can you see that I've got an octave I've got C and a C now a quite a good trick is watch the little finger see how I hold see that? so basically I'm holding the top note the same top note while I'm changing the bottom note's in a kind of blue scale. Or you could do it in G. Can you see that? So I've got the first part of the blue scale, the pentatonic scale. And if you put the top note in there, that's cool. those are two nice riffs. So if with, a, with the chop in the left hand, if you wanted to make it a kind of boogie or blues thing, you could go, it would sound like this. there but can you see how I've how I hold the top note and it kind of gives that nice how would you describe that that sound trill yeah yeah that kind of trill you know fills it out a little bit makes it a little bit more edgy I think you know, so just by holding the top note and kind of by playing the blue scale the first few notes of the blue scale or whatever it is you have quite a nice um, sounding riff. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you today. Let me know what you think. This is lesson number five in the dummy series. Please let me know how you're coming along. And I know some of you are working through these videos systematically. Remember, I think if you start right at the beginning of this channel and go from how to play Amazing Boogie Boogie and go right through to these lessons, you're gonna be quite a good boogie player because I'm kind of giving you all my knowledge here for free which is quite a good deal. What do you think of that, Lorraine? Uh, I think that's fantastic. <laughs> so let me know what you think and um, give me any suggestions you've got for further lessons and I will talk to you soon. And remember, keep practicing.